What do you do when you've made it to the very top as a Rolling Stone and you've made enough million selling records to cover a wall or two? The answer is that you start winning awards for serving the type of food that's kept rock bands going since the very beginning. Beef burgers. This place is Sticky Fingers. It's owned by Bill Wyman. I've got me, me Coke, I've got me relish. But where's me burger? I mean, come on. Here's your burger. Thank you, garçon. Yeah, we're a bit short stuffed. It's, um, the, it's the flu, you know. Is it's it? The flu. It used to be called junk food, but I'm sure you wouldn't agree with that anymore, would you? No, I used to really get off on having a burger once in a while when I first went to America, because you didn't get them in England in the 60s, and um, they were quite uh, amazing to eat, you know. Show me around. Show me bits and pieces from your past. All right. Yeah. What are you going to do with that? You can have another one after. <laughs> you can yeah. take it with yeah. you. I will. They're I will. good, aren't they? Very lovely. <laughs> I started off with a scrapbook. With the first few cuttings, I put in a scrapbook, and I thought, when my kid grows up, I can show him that I used to be in a roll, rock and roll band once, and we'd made two records, and we were on television once or something. Royalty comes here as well? Yes, yeah. yeah. Well, drop some names for me, for goodness sake. We well, were, yeah, Di does come down with um, the, the princess, and usually a security guy. She's been down quite a lot, probably six, eight times. What about the boys from the band? Do they dare have a pop in as well? Never around, are they? But half of them don't live here. But Woody's been in, uh, Keith's a family, Anita and all them, and uh, Jerry used to come home with the kids quite a lot before they moved to Richmond. If there was an experience that could sum up your days in the Stones, what would it be, do you reckon? Everybody thinks it's a glamorous life, it don't. It's just all hassles and suitcases, and oh, there are the magic moments, of course, but you live for them. Stepping out at uh, Wembley Stadium, the first time anybody ever, any band ever did Wembley Stadium on their own, which was the Stones. Why are we going to have a bit of nuts? Lead the way, <laughs> Bill. I'll leave the cooking to people that can cook. Right. So I'll leave you with Lynn, one of our chefs, and you can get the food ready, and I'll see you upstairs beside to eat afterwards. So Lynn, baby. Darling, Hi. what are we going to do today? Well, today we're going to do a tuna melt with avocado. Yummy. Take it away. All right. First, two tomatoes, obviously. Next, we'll take our avocado. Tuna mix next, obviously. And worry not, you little rockers. I'll give you Bill's special recipe in a minute. So what's it like working with Bill as the boss? I mean, is he a, a bit of a slave driver and comes down here and whacks you over the head with his bass guitar? Or what? No. Very easy, very pleasant. No problems at all. Next, Bill's dish is covered with a slice of cheese, put under a grill so the cheese melts, and uh, smells good. Legend in his own lunchtime. And a star who's willing to part with the secret of his tuna melt. For a mega toasted sandwich for one, you mash a six ounce tin of tuna with a tablespoon each of chopped onion and lemon juice. Stir in a touch of garlic salt and a half a teaspoon of black pepper and a good dollop of mayonnaise to suit. The mixture goes over sliced tomato and avocado and a piece of cheese goes on top for a few seconds under the grill. But is it enough to stop this particular stone from rolling? Some people say you've settled down, is that true? Yes, I, I'm very, it is true and I'm um, so content in my life now, you wouldn't believe it. My wonderful baby and a wonderful wife and everything's great. And mm. So um, life's really, really special now, so I'm loving every minute of it. <laughs>